Welcome to the homework for lesson 9. This is module 5 of grade 3. Please write your name here first. Each shape represents one hole. And fill in the chart. So here's our example for A. So we see that the each shape, so that means that is a shape. That's a hole. And the unit fraction, you see it's divided into halves. Each one, if I was going to label each part, it would be one half. And then, there, but there are three halves shaded, so the fraction shaded is three halves. So, for part B, or number B, that's our shape, and it has... One, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. So our unit fraction is, if we were going to label each one of these parts, it would be one sixth. And how many uh, sixths are shaded? Well, we have six here, right? Because that's the whole thing. Seven, eight, nine of them. So there are nine parts shaded. And since they are all sixths, it's the hardest uh, fraction to pronounce is sixths, uh, nine sixths. Now here our shapes are divided into fourths, so our unit fraction is one fourth. And how many of those are shaded? Well, we've got one, two, three... Three sets of four of them, that's 12, 13, 14, 15 of them. So 15 of those parts are shaded, so that's 15 fourths. And this shape here is divided into halves, so the unit fraction is 1 half. Unit fractions always have 1 for the numerator. It's the unit that we're counting. So how many halves are shaded in? We've got two for each hole, right? So that's two, four, six halves, right? So that's six parts that are shaded in. That's six halves. And here our whole shape is divided into thirds, so our unit fraction is one third. And how many are shaded in? Well, there's three here, and then one more is four of them are shaded in, and that's four thirds. And then here's our shape. That's divided into three equal parts, so they are thirds. And that's our unit fraction is one third. And there are one, two, three, four of them shaded in. So it's also four thirds. Estimate to draw and shade units on the fraction stri strips and solve. So here's 7 fourths. Here's our example. 7 fourths, so that means each strip has to be put into fourths. And label each one with the unit fraction. And notice we need 7 fourths shaded in. So here's 4 of them, and there's 3 more. So together, 4 plus 3, that's 7 fourths shaded in. So we need 5 thirds for this first one. So that means each one of these has to be divided into thirds. That's three equal parts. So about like that. And this one, about like that. And one-third, 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 one-third. You get, get your units first. So once it's in, once you get the units sorted out, that it's thirds, and you have all thirds. Now you just have to count how many units you need, and that's five of them. So that's our uh, shade in one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just shading it lightly so you can still see. You can still see the units. The labeled for each section. 
for each fractional piece. If I was to shade this in, you know, very darkly with black, and you wouldn't be able to see anything, you'd have no idea. But you, if you can, make it so that the labels will show. You could use a highlighter marker and go over your whatever you write in pencil for your labels, and then you'd be able to see everything and you'd see what's shaded, if you have one. All right, now this last one we want... Oh, we have, and we have to write this as a as a fraction here. So right up here, right, because here in the sample, we have the unit form and we have the regular fraction notation. So we want five thirds has to write. We have to write that as a fraction five. With the numerator and three is the denominator. And so here we're given this nine thirds. So remember that the denominator tells us what our unit is. That's thirds. And the numerator tells us how many of those we have to count. Nine thirds. So, so our unit is thirds. So each one of these rectangles should be divided into three equal parts. And we'll label each of them one third. And we need nine of them shaded in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You might have guessed that ahead of time. That it was going to take all of them. Reggie bought two candy bars. Draw the candy bars and estimate to partition each bar into four equal pieces. So we need two candy bars, each one into four equal pieces. So here's a candy bar. And you want your candy bars to be the same. Let's assume that he bought the same candy bar twice and then buy two different kinds of candy bars. And so that way all our fourths are going to look the same. Now, let me just undo that because the easiest way to do fourths is to do halves first and then cut my halves in half. It's the best way to try and get equal sized pieces. Okay, so there's our candy bars. There's our four equal pieces. I'm going to label them all fourths. It doesn't say to do that. But I think it's probably going to make things a little bit simpler later on. And we've been doing this, so I'm going to keep doing it. Reggie ate. Okay, so we did that. We drew the candy bars. Reggie ate five pieces. Shade the amount he ate. Okay, so that's five pieces. So that it could be any five pieces, right? We've got eight different pieces here. We can shade any five we wanted. But I'm just going to do one whole candy bar. One, two, three, four. And then one fourth from the other candy bar. So there's, there's what the five pieces shaded in. And write a fraction to show how many candy bars Reggie ate. Now there's, it gets tricky for how to write this. Uh, it, you could just write, you could write it in unit form. You could write it as a fraction. Uh, fraction form you could write it um, uh, you could write it as a mixed number uh, so there's a lot of ways to describe it but I'm just gonna say this uh, and you'll see what I mean when I start to write it now I can't just write Reggie 8 5 fourths because a fraction is always a fraction of something if I say Reggie ate five-fourths of a candy bar, well, it's like a candy bar is just one. So of five-fourths of candy bars, sounds that also sounds kind of goofy. So it's kind of hard to tricky. It's hard to, to figure out exactly how to put this. Um, you could write Reggie ate five-fourths bars of candy 
and you could also you could also have written this um, you could have also written that let me just do that you could have also written uh, the five fourths as five fourths because it didn't say like exactly how to write the fraction you could also describe it as although this this is a mixed number then ask for a fraction same thing really you could write um, one bar of candy or one whole bar and one fourth Oops, it'll be one. Now, I, I did all this not just to make you do every single way you could possibly do it, but in case you wrote your answer a different way, just that there's more than one way to write the, write the, um, write your answer for this. And it's a little awkward to t when you start talking about improper fractions like this. To think about is this going to be plural or is it or is it singular and how do you say it it's going to be a fraction of something that's it, it, it can be tricky when you start to think too much about it